So in this question, we are told that suppose we are trying to find a substitute for potassium ion for some application. Where would we begin our search? So we will begin our search. So you begin search. on the periodic table. You search the periodic table and to be specific, you look for the group in which the potassium is found and that is uh, group one. So you search periodic table, search for potassium group number, And once you find the potassium group number, which is uh, group number 1A, then you can look at the element that is next to potassium um, that is above or below potassium. So in this case, we have sodium and rubidium. So, the question is then asking us that uh, which ions are most like potassium? So ions in group 1A are likely to be most like potassium, but when you are considering uh, size, then you start to think about, um, start to think about uh, sodium ion or rubidium ion. And if you also want to retain the properties of the potassium ions, so those are the ions that you're likely to choose. So the question also asks for each ion you propose, explain the ways in which it is similar to potassium ion and the way it is different. So the way the sodium ion or the rubidium ion is similar to potassium ion is that um, it has or they have same group number well, let me just say they have the same the same uh, outer electron configuration They have same charge, which is uh, plus one. The neutral atom are uh, the same group. atoms. What else can you think of? Yeah, that's basically what we can say. So when you start to think about the difference, the so difference, they differ one, number of protons differ. And also uh, number of neutrons also differ. And um, this will definitely lead to a difference in the mass number. Um, another thing that you can think about that differ is uh, the size of the ions. Yeah. So just a 